A Turkish plane carrying 30 tons of medical aid arrived at Beirut's airport on Wednesday after Israel's massive bombardment of several areas throughout Lebanon that killed at least 560 people and sent thousands fleeing from southern Lebanon. Lebanese caretaker health minister Faras Abayad was at the airport to receive the Turkish aid. He said it was a message of solidarity from Turkey to the Lebanese nation, in the face of the brutal aggression it is enduring. A wave of Israeli strikes on Monday and Tuesday killed at least 560 people, including 50 children and 94 women, and wounded more than 1,800, the Lebanese health ministry said. It was a staggering toll for a country still reeling from the deadly pager and walkie-talkie bombings last week. The airstrikes forces thousands to seek shelter. Fleeing families have flocked to Beirut and the coastal city of Sidon, sleeping in schools turned into shelters, as well as in cars, parks and along the beach. Some sought to leave the country, causing a traffic jam at the border with Syria. اليوم بمطار عم نستقبل طائرة عسكرية جاية للبنان مساعدة من تركيا ومن الشعب التركي لتوجه رسالة كتير مهمة للشعب اللبناني الرسالة الأولى هي رسالة تضامن هي رسالة بتقول للشعب اللبناني أنت لست وحيدا نحن واقفين معك نحن بكل الدعم لصمود هذا الشعب يواجه الاعتداء الغاشم اللي عم يتعرض له اللي سقط من جراءه الاعداد الكبيره من الشهداء ومن ومن الجرحى Rocket fire from Lebanon set off explosions in northern Israel Tuesday, as Lebanon's Hezbollah militant group and Israel appeared to be spiraling to all-out war. It was not immediately clear whether the explosions were caused by rockets impacting or shrapnel falling from missile interceptions. Smoke was seen rising above southern Lebanon following a series of blasts Tuesday morning. The blasts come a day after Israel launched hundreds of airstrikes in southern and eastern Lebanon Monday, killing 492 people, including 35 children and 58 women, as the Israeli military called on residents to immediately evacuate places where it claimed the Hezbollah militant group stores weapons. The increasing strikes and counterstrikes have raised fears of an all-out war, even as Israel is still battling Hamas in Gaza and trying to return scores of hostages taken in Hamas' October 7 attack. 
Hezbollah began firing into Israel a day after the October 7 attack in what it said was an attempt to pin down Israeli forces to help Palestinian fighters in Gaza. Israel has retaliated with airstrikes, and the conflict has steadily intensified over the past year.